Hi guys, welcome back to RT Share Tea, where respiratory therapists live out loud. With me, your host, Linda Fry, the asthma lady. Yes, welcome everybody, welcome to anyone new. And today we're gonna jump in right into the episode, which is stop being your own hater. All right, so we're gonna talk about that and how to get over those things, which I had to do, okay? All right, so. In 2023, I had to say yes to change. Um, some changes that I was not looking forward to and um, saying yes to my own ideas. Okay, so at the top of the year 2023, I had to make a decision to leave my role as the asthma program director. Um, and I was sad and unsure about where my career was going to go. And um, because I was doing this due to family obligations. So my family come first first and foremost and um but i'm also career driven so this the challenge that i had with that where um i had negative talks to myself and um shooting down ideas before they even started and finding ways to progress and overcome those negative talks. That's what we're gonna talk about today, okay? And chime in, I want you guys to tell me what you have done also, if this was an issue for you, all right? So we're gonna jump right into it. Um, this year, la I'm sorry, last year, 2023, like I was saying, I said yes to a lot of things. I said I got 19 speaking engagements that were booked. I, I, I can't even explain that to you. Um, how humble I am by people just wanting to connect hear my perspectives, share, uh, um, share what has been happening in the asthma space, which is where, what I'm well known for. Um, but it's been a humbling experience. I, I was booked as a consultant, um, saying yes to my own business. I got booked for like 10 projects in 2023. So, I ultimately had to learn how to shut off the negative talks and progress and, 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 and just make them to the point where every time they came in my head, I would immediately shut them off. And the way that I did that is by reviewing the achievements I have done already. So, and my advice to other people would be to have this written down somewhere. Like, you know, the things, the, the goals that I had set, set for myself and the achievements that I have been able to fulfill. So once the negative talks starts to kick in, I, um, I, I, I look at those achievements and I'm like, you know what, if, if, if I was able to do those things, I can do it. And then the negative talks, they just phase out. <laughs> so, and this is something I consistently had to do. So I think uh, a strategy for stopping to be your own hater is to consistently listen to positive uh, content and affirmations and it's not a one-shot deal and I think that's what um, some folks tend to do they'll listen to something once and um, they'll be like yep got it all good and um, when it comes to negative talk talks especially if you've been dealing with it for for years or even as a as a kid um, 
it's something you have to consistently do. And that's why I, I let's talk about self sabotage. All right. So this can be things like procrastination, just um, knowing that you are good at a particular thing or other people tell you that you're good at a specific thing and you purposely um, avoid that thing, whatever, whatever it may be, uh, making sure that you you're not picked for that thing or or whatever. Um, so for me, my self sabotage would be um, connecting with people. At one point, this was hard for me, uh, especially as someone that had a role where I to grow the program, I had to do some networking and I just didn't know it was a challenge for me. It, it was it was a challenge for me because I have been hurt by um, co-workers before and I kind of shut down that part of me of allowing people in, um, especially in regards to uh, work when it comes to work purposes and stuff like that. So in 2023, what I did was I made that a priority to make myself available um, you know, um, when people wanted, gave, invited me to meet, I would, you know, say yes and make time available to meet new people, get to know new people. Um, what, what helped me was I started to go to meetings by myself, uh, events where I knew absolutely no one and, um, would, have to you know introduce myself and just get to know people and it has been opening so many doors <laughs> I just I, I I just said yes and this really helped me to overcome the self-sabotage of me leaving work I mean sorry, leaving meetings early and, and, you know, not doing the mingling after events. And, um, yeah, I thought that that was a form of self-sabotage for me because ultimately, uh, with what I was trying to do, you, you can't do it alone. You can't, there's no way. Um, so yeah, so that has helped me greatly. I also learn how to extend grace to myself just giving myself grace you know when you have things like i don't even have a to-do list i have a success list which is the the most important thing i need to do to move myself further in the direction that i want to go in i have learned to give myself grace when things don't pan out in the timeline i have set for myself you know, um, and, and if you don't notice that I have the turtles everywhere, right? The turtles or I have turtles all over my background, all over my logo. I have, as you can see behind me, um, you know, because a turtle, I'm, I'm an introvert. So I'm usually in the shell and I pop my head out when it's time to speak up for those that don't have a voice. And also turtles are, slow but they always strive to be to to get to their their destination even though they're moving slow it does not matter do you understand what i'm saying they will get there and so that's why i really like the symbolism of of turtle i have learned to have grace and compassion for myself because sometimes the greatest achievement could be just waking up in the morning and being about your day just getting through the day and i have learned to be okay with that so i you know i have definitely learned to stop being my own hater and um because oftentimes people are worried about other people hating on them <laughs> that's that's nothing because that you can you can turn that off very easily you can turn the noise off on, on that end very easily ignore or whatever when it's up here 
that is the difficult part of hateration <laughs> okay guys so yeah so we just want to in the year 2024 stop being your own hater stop blocking yourself stop getting in your own way stop saying to yourself that you can't do something because you don't look like everybody else that's doing it um stop stop telling yourself everybody else is doing it uh I, there's no point in me doing it myself stop stop that it is nonsense this is the year of saying yes to your own ideas saying yes to you investing in yourself and just simply being the best version of yourself and only competing with yesterday's version of you that is all all right guys so i'm personally very excited for this year 2024 um and yeah i'm so excited to take this ride with you guys once again we have so much more to come lined up the guest co-hosts and just the different topics and chime in let me know what you want to talk about i a lot of the episodes that come to me i am getting from you guys people dm me questions um so that's where the topics are coming from so if you want me to speak more on a specific topic please chime in hit me up on social media or everything will be on the description you can email me um rt at gmail.com hit us up we want to hear from you all right guys so thank you so much for listening i will speak to you next next week <laughs> all right guys so don't forget we are here we are on most podcast platforms on wednesdays at 6 p.m eastern time and we are on youtube on thursdays all right guys so i will see you next time bye